They reminded me of a, a limerick. Uh, there was a young man from West, Westfall whose penis was exceedingly small. <laughs> he bugged a bug at the end of a rug, and the bug didn't feel it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready to give it a shot? impressions on you where you kind of end up thinking about him a lot like more than maybe you even realize you do because he embeds all these like little things in your mind that's kind of funny I think so much about fish but um, I know Dirk's learned a lot about them and as, as has uh, infiltrated a subculture of fish enthusiasts is as interesting as the work itself. It's like an, it's an attitude, but it's, it's, it's in a way, it's like his personality, which is, um, you know, complex. As art, they're like abstract, color fields with with um, with these really strong elements these photos open up the world open up the world of these of these animals to us very um, very quickly these fish are shot so close that they that they start to have formal qualities like painting so there's something very um, simultaneously delightful and sinister 
to the um These fish should never really have existed if it hadn't been for man tweaking out their genes and, and playing with them in a way to, to create these species that would never have survived in the, in the wild. Dirk's done something really interesting with the fish and he's, he's taken them out of any sense of environment. There's no sense of space, there's no foreground, middle ground, or background. You have these fish that are completely isolated and, um, and alone because of the backgrounds and, and the isolation, the alienation. People, there's something that draws people into them and titles are great. There's something going on and it makes you kind of anthropomorphize the fish in such a way that you're, you're always trying to add personality. With these fish it's really a matter of just capturing these moments 